When a major power upgrades its air and missile defense, the consequences rarely stay within national borders. The evolution from the S-500 to what analysts describe as the S-700 is not just a technical story about Russia, it is a global one. Defense systems shape how wars are planned, how alliances behave, and how risk is calculated. The S-500 already altered strategic thinking by extending defensive reach into near space and compressing response timelines. The possibility of an S-700 pushes that impact further, raising questions that go far beyond missiles and radars. This upgrade matters because it affects deterrence, stability, escalation dynamics, and the future direction of military technology worldwide. The S-500 marked a point where air defense stopped being purely reactive and started becoming anticipatory. It was designed not only to intercept threats, but to observe and understand them at unprecedented altitudes and speeds. That capability forced other powers to reassess assumptions about survivability and penetration. A next-generation system would likely expand this logic, focusing less on individual engagements and more on shaping the entire battle space. This shift alone has global implications, because it challenges how offensive systems are valued and deployed. One major consequence is the impact on strategic balance. Air and missile defense influence nuclear and conventional deterrence alike. If a system can reliably track and potentially intercept high-value assets earlier, it affects confidence in second-strike capabilities and long-range precision weapons. Even if interception is not guaranteed, improved awareness changes calculations. Other nations must factor in higher uncertainty, which can alter force posture and readiness levels across regions. Another global effect lies in alliance planning. Many defense strategies rely on shared assumptions about access to airspace and freedom of movement. A more advanced Russian defense architecture could complicate these assumptions in contested regions. This does not require constant deployment or active use. The mere existence of an expanded defensive envelope forces allies to rethink basing, logistics, and reinforcement strategies. Planning becomes more complex and resource-intensive. Technology diffusion is also a key consequence. When one country pushes boundaries, others respond. The progression from S-500 to S-700 signals where investment priorities may shift globally. Greater emphasis on sensor fusion, automation, and predictive analytics could influence how defense budgets are allocated worldwide. Nations that cannot match these systems directly may seek asymmetric responses, such as electronic warfare, cyber operations, or alternative delivery methods. The economic dimension is often overlooked. Advanced defense systems affect the cost exchange balance between offense and defense. If defending becomes relatively cheaper or more efficient than attacking, it alters procurement strategies. Countries may hesitate to invest heavily in expensive offensive platforms if their effectiveness is increasingly uncertain. This can reshape defense markets and long-term industrial planning on a global scale. Another consequence is the pressure on arms control frameworks. Many existing agreements were designed around older technologies and clearer distinctions between offensive and defensive systems. As defense systems expand into near space and integrate AI-driven decision-making, these distinctions blur. The evolution toward an S-700-like architecture highlights gaps in current regulatory structures, potentially accelerating debates about new norms or agreements. Operational doctrine worldwide is also affected. Modern military thinking increasingly emphasizes speed, surprise, and precision. A defense system that reduces surprise by extending detection and tracking undermines these principles. As a result, doctrines may shift toward saturation tactics, deception, or standoff operations. This adaptation cycle drives further innovation and competition. The role of artificial intelligence introduces another layer of global consequence. AI-driven defense systems raise questions about decision authority, escalation control, and error management. If systems operate faster than human decision cycles, the risk of miscalculation changes. Nations observing this trend may accelerate their own automation efforts, leading to a broader transformation in how military decisions are made. There is also a psychological dimension. Perceived defensive superiority can embolden or restrain behavior depending on context. A state confident in its defenses may feel more secure, but others may feel pressured or threatened. This perception gap can increase tension even in the absence of direct confrontation. 
The S500 already influenced perceptions, a further upgrade amplifies that effect. Regional security dynamics are particularly sensitive. In areas where multiple powers operate in close proximity, changes in defensive capability can quickly ripple outward. Flight patterns, exercises, and deployments may all be adjusted in response to perceived changes in detection and engagement capability. These adjustments, in turn, influence neighboring states and regional stability. Another global implication is the precedent it sets for defense modernization. The transition from S-500 to S-700 suggests a long-term commitment to layered, integrated defense rather than isolated systems. Other nations may adopt similar approaches, accelerating a global shift toward network-centric defense architectures. This convergence can increase complexity and interdependence across military systems. The information domain is also affected. Advanced defense systems generate enormous amounts of data. Managing, securing, and interpreting that data becomes a strategic challenge. Nations observing Russia's approach may invest more heavily in data infrastructure and cybersecurity, recognizing that information itself is now a key element of defense. Importantly, global consequences are not limited to military planners. Political decision makers must account for how these systems influence crisis stability. Faster detection and response can reduce reaction time during emergencies, increasing pressure on leaders to make rapid decisions. This can raise the stakes during periods of tension, even if no one intends escalation. The evolution toward an S-700 also influences future threat development. Offensive designers may prioritize stealth, speed, or unconventional trajectories to counter advanced defenses. This arms race dynamic ensures that innovation does not stop, but it also increases unpredictability. Each advance on one side prompts experimentation on the other. From a broader strategic perspective, the most significant consequence may be uncertainty. A defense system does not need to be fully understood to have impact. Unclear capabilities force adversaries to assume conservative scenarios. This uncertainty shapes planning, investment, and diplomacy. It becomes a quiet but persistent factor in international relations. Ultimately, the global consequences of moving from S-500 to S-700 are not about a single system outperforming another. They are about how the balance between offense and defense is evolving worldwide. As defenses become smarter, more integrated, and more anticipatory, the rules of military competition shift. The world must then adapt to a landscape where power is measured not only by the ability to strike, but by the ability to see, decide, and deny. That is why this upgrade matters far beyond Russia's borders. Share your thoughts below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us next time as we explore more of the world's most advanced military technologies.